Hey everybody, this is Ted Check, Recovering Reporter. So this is the fourth installment, or day four, of Alex Hormozzi's 100 Minutes for 100 Days, although I'm filming it on this, the fifth day. I'm a little behind, but, uh, so today I'll actually produce two videos. And, uh, here's the crazy thing, you get to see me here and me here. Whoa, it's like, uh, double vision, right? It's too, it's too much Ted. It's absolutely too much Ted. But anyway, what I, what I wanted to do was talk about uh, what I did yesterday very briefly and uh, that is a uh, couple things so really yeah so I just uh, interrupted the video for a second there but yeah so uh, two things first of all I uh, continued to uh, amass my launch team so you so the launch team for those, those who aren't aware launch team is a group of people uh, you know friends family other people that you acquaintances and so you you want them to you ask them nicely if on your launch day on the day that you publish your book that they would then um write a review and and what i say what i stress is a quick and honest i say quick and honest review quick because it won't take much time honest because it's okay if uh, there were parts of the book that they didn't uh, necessarily agree with or didn't like or whatever that's fine you know, um, I think, as far as I understand it, with Amazon, we want we want that nice bell curve. You know, we want we want uh, some reviews that maybe aren't at the you know the the the, the five star reviews. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. And so and plus, people uh, I think appreciate it when you ask them for their honest opinion rather than hey, I, I want you to to you know to pump my book up and and say you liked it even if you didn't. That that's disingenuous. So. Uh, yeah, I've been contacting uh, all sorts of people that I know, not that I know a lot of people, but, uh, you know, the people that I do know, um, you know, and, and offering them uh, uh, a uh, an inside look, uh, a look at the rough draft, and then in exchange, uh, could they please, I would appreciate it if they would uh, leave a quick and honest review when I, uh, when I publish the book. That's the one thing. Then the second thing is this video right here that you're seeing, uh, coffee stains and all. This is, I show the, uh, I, you know, I thought this was a fairly good idea. Show the progression of how I came up with the cover. So this was the first sketch that I made for Saving the Beast. We have the beast here. Uh, caught in a trap. Caught in a trap. Uh, fake news, right? And then uh, the second iteration was this. Uh, a bit more detail here with, with the musculature and, and all that. Um, because I, I always liked to draw when I was a kid. I liked to draw. And so, uh, thankfully, I still have at least some of the skills or whatever. So, uh, and this is, I believe this is the one that I sent to my editor. And then uh, we came up, or she came up with this. This is the this is the final product here of the beast caught in the trap. Or the trap's about to spring. And uh, the, the trap of fake news. The beast represents journalism. Uh, both the craft of journalism and the industry of journalism. And uh, because it is being eaten, it, it's actually eating itself from within. Um, and, and it needs saving. It, it stems from the, uh, the, the phrase that, uh, that we have in, in journalism, which uh, is feed the beast. You have to feed the beast, meaning you have to uh, produce content um, because content is king. You got to produce content in order to satisfy the beast, which uh, I have defined as the craft of journalism and the industry of journalism. So I thought this was a pretty good video. Uh, it hasn't, hasn't gotten much traction yet, but that's all right. Um, I thought it, I thought it would be interesting uh, for people to uh, to see how I developed the concept for for the cover. Um, so those are those are the big things that I did yesterday. And then today we're, we're on to some other things, so um, I'll produce another video later on tonight at the end of the day for the fifth day of Alex Hormozzi's 100 Minutes for 100 Days. And, and if you're not familiar with that, that concept, it's if you dedicate yourself to a particular goal, to, to a particular, um, you know, what, what, what it, whatever it is that you're going for, for 100 minutes a day, for 100 days, you should have some uh great results he he says a hundred thousand dollars i think he might have even said a hundred thousand dollars per month i don't know about that but uh, i'm trying to remain optimistic 
Uh, but this is all what, what I'm my my uh, my goal is to have a successful launch, to have a successful uh, marketing campaign, promotion campaign for my book. That's what I am dedicating everything these hundred minutes a day to. So let me know your thoughts on this. Are you doing the uh, the 100 minutes a day uh, for 100 days? If you're doing that challenge, let me know and uh, tell me tell me how it worked out for you or if you're in the middle of it even and how it's working out for you. So thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it and talk to you later.